we're going to make chocolate wafer cookies. So let's get started. First start off with a very small bowl and you're going to put a half a cup of all-purpose flour that you sifted. So put that in the bowl. You're also going to add a half a teaspoon of baking soda to the mix. You're going to put a pinch of salt in and just stir that together and then put that on a side. Now you're going to need a very well small to medium bowl. You're going to put one egg that's been at room temperature, that's a large egg, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and you're going to put two thirds of a cup of brown sugar. This recipe uh, is really quick and very fast. And now we're just going to blend this on high speed till it all comes together. And that's going to take you probably less than a minute. Now you can use your hand mixer or your stand mixer, whatever you prefer. I'm going to show you what that looks like. There's the consistency to it. And the next thing that you're going to add is three tablespoons of unsweetened uh, cocoa. I'm going to put that into my bowl. And you're going to put one tablespoon of canola oil into that. Now once you do that, again, you're just going to use your mixer and start mixing and blending that and then turn it on high. And I'm going to show you what this looks like in just a second. And again, this is going to probably take you a minute or so to blend all of this on high. Now this batter is going to come out uh, very sticky in texture, but it's going to produce a real thin, crispy, light cookie. I'm going to clean the sides of my bowl, get all that cocoa powder. Now if you prefer and you don't want to use the unsweetened cocoa powder, you can go ahead and melt one ounce of unsweetened chocolate. But I find that this is a lot faster than melting um, unsweetened um, chocolate in the microwave and then waiting it to cool and that type of thing. So that's why I like to use the three tablespoons of um, cocoa to the one tablespoon of canola oil. And the last thing that you're going to put in is a half a cup of sifted all-purpose flour into your bowl. And you're going to go back to your mixer, just start blending it, and then once it's pretty well blended, then turn your mixer on high. And again, that's going to take you probably about a minute or so to do that. I like using my hand mixer because this recipe is so quick and easy. So I like to use my hand mixer for that. And I'm going to clean the sides of the bowl and get to the bottom real well and then show you the type of consistency, the thickness of the, of the cookie dough. Uh, but it will be very, very sticky to the touch. And it's going to look like that. Just make sure that everything's been blended well together. That's all that you really need to check. Next, you're going to need a cookie sheet or a cookie pan that you'll want to spray, lightly spray it. And you're going to drop your cookie about one teaspoon, and you're going to place them about two inches apart because they are going to spread when they bake. Now you're going to put this cookie at 350 degrees and they're going to take anywhere from 11 to 12 minutes. I like to start really checking mine after about 8 minutes. And I usually only put about 6 on my cookie tray to bake. Try to round them out as best as you can because you want a nice round wafer cookie. Now this is going to make you about 16 cookies once they're baked. I went ahead and baked some, so I'm going to show you what they look like. And here you go. A chocolate wafer cookie. 
They're light, they're crisp, they really are delicious. Great with ice cream or along with coffee or tea or even cappuccino. Give the recipe a try. I hope you like this one. And let me know. Leave a comment to tell me. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.